Hey, Connect Group family, we just want to say hello to you today. We're so excited that we're gathering together virtually online, some of us, and of course in person, some of us. As we do today, we want to gather around the Word of God, have community, have fellowship, have prayer, and just be encouraged by one another and what God is doing in our life. We're in the middle of a series, and our Connect Groups are kind of falling around the path of the series. Our series is called Animals in the Kingdom. That's right. And we've been focusing on animals that Jesus references in the Bible to give us meaning and message, what they typify. And today, we're talking about sheep and goats. And our, the sermon has been, sheeps listen, goats butt. You know, goats always butt their heads. They always have excuses for things, you know. I'll follow you, God, but I can't right now. Uh, God, I'm going to one day give up that lifestyle, but not now. Uh, God, I'll do this, but, but, but. They always have but. You can always tell a goat apart from a sheep by the size of the butt. And so in reality, sheep listen. And being a sheep is a beautiful experience for us all. And that gets us to rely and depend on our shepherd, Jesus, the good shepherd, who's laid his life down for us. And he's the one whom we want to follow. He never leaves us. He's always by our side. He'll protect us from wolves. He'll keep us. He'll feed us. He'll give us rest and anoint us with his Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God will come upon us so that we can follow him. John 10, 27. I just want to highlight one verse from the entire sermon. My sheep, Jesus says, hear my voice, and I know them. You're known of him, and they follow me. Jesus also said in John chapter 10 that they, they know his voice. They hear his voice. They hear his voice. They know his voice. They identify. They recognize this good shepherd, Jesus. I want you today to start thinking about this verse, meditating on it, praying it, and know that you can hear the voice of God. Goats represent our flesh, represent sometimes the unbelieving, ungodly counsel and mindset and culture of the world. Goats also represents the demonic realm, but sheep represent our new nature that's been born of God. It represents the ability to hear the voice of God through the Holy Spirit, and Jesus speaks through the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 10, he also said that the doorkeeper opens the door of our hearts. That's the Holy Spirit. He's the one who helps us prepare our hearts by grace. Invite him to help you listen to the voice of God. Make you aware of God's voice. Become sensitive to his voice. A couple of important ways you can do that. The entrance of his word brings light into your heart. The word of God is a lamp unto your feet, a light unto your path. The psalmist says, in you is the fountain of life, in your light. We see light. This is all about the Word of God. God's Word will bring light, illumination to your thinking, to your mind. And help you. So invite the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus speaks through the Holy Spirit. And invite the Holy Spirit to become the teacher of the Word. As you open up the Word, just start reading it. Take your time. Meditate. Think on. Chew on what you're reading. What does it mean? How does it apply to my life? What do you mean? Lord, tell, tell me. Teach me. Guide me. Pray about it. Think on it. Change the way you talk about it. Change the way you think about it. Let it get into your life. Change your actions. See how I can apply it in my life, Lord. How can I do this thing now that I'm learning? How can I change? Help me change. Help me grow, Holy Spirit. You see? You do that. And then know this, that Jesus in Psalm 23, verse 5, He's prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies, and He's anointing your head with oil. Do you know shepherds would actually take oil and anoint the sheep? That's what shepherds actually do. Because they keep the bugs and, and from laying eggs in their head. But then they can't scratch. And then they start banging their head on the wall or, or, or on, on, on hard surfaces. And they hurt themselves and get brain damage. That's kind of what religion does to us. The wrong ideas and the wrong teaching. That's what we've got to get in the Word and let the Holy Spirit teach you and guide you. And get the mind renewed and transformed. And then the oil would also go in the eyes of the sheep. So they could see so stuff wouldn't get stuck in their eyes. So they can see clearly. Isn't that beautiful? By the way, sheep have 320 degree vision. They can see a large span around. 360 would be 100%. So that's pretty close right there. They can see everything like that. It's pretty cool the way their eyes are. Anyway, uh, I hope you realize that God is calling you to be one of his sheep. And he loves you. And he wants you to follow the voice of his spirit. He wants you to simply get in the word. Start thinking about, chewing on, meditating on what God's word actually says. And then start praying the word and start applying it in your life. That's simple. And get ready for Jesus 
to anoint your head with oil by the anointing of the Spirit and get ready for Him to prosper you and cause your cup to run over in this season. And I want to declare that God, the Chief Shepherd, Jesus is Jehovah Jireh over your life and His provision will be seen in this season of your life. Let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for all our Connect Group families today. I pray that you anoint their head with oil by the Holy Spirit. Cause their cup to run over. And I pray your presence saturates their heart and make them self-aware of what they need to change by the Holy Spirit. But more importantly, make them Christ-aware and of your divine nature. And help them hear your voice, know your voice, recognize your voice, and follow your voice. Because they will not follow the voice of the stranger, but follow the voice of you, Jesus, through the Holy Spirit. In this season, we pray. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for this. And we say, amen, amen. Love you. God bless you. And we'll see you next week.